Calling all staff to the boardroom, calling all staff to the boardroom. Hello, and welcome to the care plan meeting. Today, we will be going over our patient, Brooklyn King. As you all know, we strive to provide the highest quality of care <coughs> to everyone. But Brooklyn, in particular, is a very special patient. So today in our meeting, we will be going over the visitors you might encounter in Brooklyn's room, to whom I will introduce her friends and her family, what you might see when going to a room, which will represent her hobbies and her interests, and what she plans to do when she gets out of the hospital. Brooklyn has many visitors you will see in her room. First, you will see her dad, Darnell, and her three younger sisters, Danasia, who is 13, Maya, who is seven, and Terry, who is three. If her family, oh, Je her friend Jessica and her grandma, Jackie. If her family from Texas decides to visit, you would most likely see her mom, Dominique, and her two younger siblings, Kennedy, who is 13, and Mason, who is eight. You might also see her best friends from Texas, Linda and Adesha. If we have to limit the number of visitors that Brooklyn is allowed to have due to COVID, we should allow her to have a total of five visitors. Her siblings would take those visitor spots right up because they are her most prized possessions. If you are assigned to take Brooklyn's vitals, you may walk in on her cleaning, FaceTiming her friends, or doing some online shopping. But make sure to use simple terminology when speaking to her, or you might just hear her famous catchphrase, girl, what are you talking about? But let me warn you, you better be at the top of your game because inefficient people really make Brooklyn's blood boil and are sure to send her blood pressure rising. Brooklyn is very, likes music a lot. Her favorite song is Didn't You Know by Erica Badu. Make sure to turn that on before you leave the room or maybe even her favorite movie, Lovely Bones, to entertain her. Before Brooklyn was admitted to the hospital, she was very busy with her full-time job as a CNA at Jenny Edmondson Hospital right here in Council Bluffs. So make sure to always have an activity for her to do to keep her mind off her busy schedule awaiting her discharge. We hope to get Brooklyn out of here in the near future. She has many goals to fulfill. She plans to attend Iowa Western to get her associate's degree in nursing. Her ultimate goal is to become a phlebotomist. To achieve this goal, she hopes to attend Texas A&M University. Brooklyn dreams of getting engaged in Tokyo by a pond full of lily pads. But this man better be special because Brooklyn's hidden talent is to gleek on demand. So be careful when taking her oral temperature or you might just get gleeked on. Brooklyn has dreams to become a mother of four to six kids. They will be visiting us from Alabama for their checkups, so be sure to welcome them with open arms. Oh, it looks like Brooklyn turned on her call light. Dr. Joe, why don't you handle this one? But before you leave, let's recap what we have talked about in the meeting. Today we have talked about the visitors you might see in her room, such as her family and friends, what you might see when going into a room, which were represented by her hobbies and interests, and what she plans to do when she gets out of the hospital. We don't want to leave Brooklyn waiting too long. Go out there and get back to work.